All right, we're gonna be palpating flexor hallucis longus. It's one of the three muscles of the deep posterior compartment. I'm gonna be, again, putting my knee up on the table here and trying to move some of the musculature over in a slacking position. We're gonna be looking on the middle posterior surface of the fibula as our origin. So thinking about soleus, which is taking up the head and the proximal shaft, and then flexor hallucis longus is starting a little bit more in the middle to distal part of this kind of bone area here. I'm gonna push over soleus, try to get on the back of the fibula, and then I'm gonna give her a tactile cue, which is to kind of tap on this big toe and see if they can flex that toe. Uh, otherwise, you can add a little bit of resistance and get them to relax, and again, get them to curl and repeat that process a few times. Now I can quite easily feel this with her. However, you won't be able to feel this on every person, especially if they have difficulty activating this big toe curling action. So the muscle belly is in this kind of posterior quadrant here on the lateral aspect. And then it's gonna make its way down underneath gastrox and soleus, which is where it has a bit of an interesting pathway into the foot. It's behind this Achilles tendon. It's making its way back. And then once it gets into the tarsal bones, it actually goes behind the talus. So there's two bumps on the back of the talus on the posterior tubercles. So it goes behind the talus. And then it's gonna go underneath something called the sustentaculum talli. So I'm just gonna show that for you. Here is the medial malleolus. I'm gonna drop off the medial malleolus heading in towards the foot and there's almost a shelf. So once you drop off this shelf, that's the last part of bone, you get into more of the muscle tissue on the plantar aspect. This is the sustentaculum talli here. So the tendon of flexor hallucis longus goes behind the talus and then it goes underneath the sustentaculum talli. So if you ask them to curl their toe, you may feel a little bit of a tendon moving back and forth in this area. This is quite deep. And then that tendon is going to travel down the plantar aspect of the foot all the way out to the distal phalanx and inserting in this area here. So fairly complex in its actions because it's crossing behind the malleolus. It is going to be doing some plantar flexion and some inversion. And then obviously in its name, it's flexing the hallux or the big toe at this metatarsal phalangeal joint and the interphalangeal joint. And that is gonna conclude our palpation of flexor hallucis longus.